You're not really thinking about doing this. Hey, stay out of this. Get your million ready. Oh, no. Are you oh, crazy? God. We just got our life back, and now you want to risk everything? <laughs> Always screaming, huh? That's Eileen Davidson from CBS's you. The Young and the Restless. You're She's in this own. new movie with her husband, actor Vince Van Patten, Seven Days to Vegas. And it really is based on a true story from one of Hollywood's biggest poker games. Eileen and Vince are here. Welcome, both. You, you guys so go everywhere together, us. huh? Well, you know, yeah. lately, yeah. <laughs> Trying to the hip. So uh, tell me about this movie. It's based on true stories. I know you're a big poker player. Based and on this, his true this story. Is, your story, right? It's inspired by yeah. this, this poker game I had in the 90s and it went for 15 years and it got bigger and bigger. And Seven Days to Vegas is, uh, it's not really about poker, it's about the people I played with, the crazy characters. And we would bet on everything and anything. And one of the craziest bets I ever made was that I could walk from LA to Las Vegas in seven days for a lot of money. And they all follow me to see if I can do it and bet against me. Was it a million dollar bet? What was it, the bet? It, it, yeah, it, it, it escalates. It's fictionalized as well. So right. everything is not exactly true. But I mean, it's, it's based on the true story. Great, bigger than life characters. Eileen plays my wife in it. She's fantastic. What great Eileen. casting. Oh, I know, <laughs> right? And it comes out September 20th. He would come uh, home and tell me all these amazing stories that had happened during a poker game, the side bets and everything. And I was mm -hmm. like, you have to write a screenplay it's about this because right it's so great. Nobody would believe the kind of things you people bet on. They're nuts. These people are crazy. So, you know. And this is it. an actual poker game that started out in the valley, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You were yeah. just having a few friends over or whatever and it just grew and celebrities That's started exactly showing up. Exactly, huge. The best. Bigger and bigger. And uh, I think the people that are in it and the, the people we fictionalized and made up are just interesting, and they're people that I've known over the years, and uh, they're people that you want to hang around with, and they're they're fun. Even though you're losing some money to them and everything, they're still a lot of fun. So, Seven Days of Vegas coming out September 20th at Lemley's in Beverly Hills. And in then seven days, right? VOD, seven, yeah, seven, days seven days eight days away. See how we did that? Seven then, days um, to Vegas, seven days from today. What's it like working together? I mean, you, you know, you know. You well, know. <laughs> <laughs> it has its ups and downs. Now, he was the writer, so basically I'm working okay. for him, and and mm -hmm. I kind of like to add live once in a while, and he would just come up to me and say, you know, you got to say it, it's written. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. really? Don't do that. You're going to pull a rank on me now? Come on. <laughs> Listen, here's but how it, it really fun. happened. It was really fun. First of all, my co-writer is Steve Alper. He's terrific. But I got the script five weeks prior to shooting, oh. and I said, honey, no, okay, now we got true. it down. We're going to start lie. filming. Let's 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 feel it out. Let's yeah, run yeah, these yeah. lines a few. She said, no, yeah. no. All of a sudden, she's a diva. Yeah. No, no. no I don't want to do it. Talk on the set together. What's that? You didn't run lines together. Yes, he she, always I wanted to run to. lines. He, uh, to she death. doesn't. And he would like just rehearse the scene until there was nothing left for she camera. She was right because ultimately we didn't really rehearse. We got on the set and we were good. She's terrific in the movie. Uh, yeah. I can see you guys. I'm really proud of him. This was a true labor of love and it turned out so well. And it's hard to make an indie movie. And it's funny. He, it's it's funny. funny. It's funny. That's the other thing you didn't say, though. It's, you know, a lot of poker movies are dark. Right. This is actually <laughs> fun. It's got drama to it, but it's about the fun part of that life, right? That's why I you've like been to in it describe for so long. it. Yeah, it's like Hangover Meets the Sting. Oh. And it is fun. Yeah, a lot of, I love the genre of con movies and mm -hmm. hustler movies, yeah. and, but they're usually very, very dark. And I said, that's not the world I know. I've been gambling since I was a little 10 year old. My father taught me how to gamble. Oh, wow. And I know these people. <laughs> that's a whole other movie. It's very wholesome. Kind of fun. So we wanted to show that in the film is that by the end of the movie, even though you're, you know, you might not like this person or that, you go, I'd like to hang out with them. It'd be fun. So seven days of Vegas. Mention the iTunes out. thing. I believe yeah. it's going to be half price this weekend on iTunes. Pre-buy on oh, iTunes right now. This weekend. Starting this weekend, just for the weekend, half mm -hmm. price iTunes. Pre-order. All right. I'm getting really good at saying that. And in theaters next Friday. Yes. Vince and Eileen, thank you so much thank for you so coming much for in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's seven days to Vegas. It opens next Friday in theaters all across the country. And then on demand on Tuesday, September 24th. You can get it half price on iTunes this weekend. Yay. Yeah. Details go to our website. It's kcal9.com.